Right, hello. We have got a laptop table because my laptop table is just a little bit too small on the width. So hopefully this will sort that problem out. And hopefully I've got all the tools I need to build this. So let's have a look. Let's open them up first. So it's got a good write up on Amazon. Um, a lot of people do say that can be missing bolts and screws. So let's hope it's not because that's just going to be annoying. we've got some uh, tools in here so that's good that's a plus let me just move my phone over there so we don't destroy it oh sorry knocked everyone over then <laughs> so we've got some bits and pieces in here so let's take them out one by one so that is going to probably be an upright of some kind it's all metal it's not the thickest a quality of sort of yeah the strengthening bar that'd be okay some bits, a little screwdriver. Oh, I didn't know I had wheels. Pretty cool. I'm not sure if I put them on. Instructions. Not many. Okay. <laughs> Plasticky bits. That's not a good sign. Plasticky bits again. Plasticky bits. <clears throat> upright maybe don't know well, that's a bit that goes up and down I think um, the base yeah it goes that way uh, uh -huh. not much and the wooden top which I actually thought was black and it does have a scratch on it it has scratches all over it but I'm going to have a laptop on it anyway, it's probably going to get, he's pretty scratched, that's, that's pretty poor, but I'm still going to build it and uh, make use of it, I'm not sending it back because that's just a pain in the ass. So let me just balance out there a minute, that's not finished very well there either, not the highest of quality I must say. So, that's... That's pretty poor, that is. That is very, very poor. So I will be uh, relaying that to uh, Amazon. So let's get him set down there. And let's start off on this lovely thing here. Right, so it's asking me to do the base first by the looks of it. So let's pop this out of the way over there. What I can see me doing is probably cutting a, a bit of wood down myself and making that bit myself. Right, so let's get the base. Okay, doesn't really give you much information there. So this piece doesn't tell you which way around this piece has got to go on. So that's not very helpful. Not very helpful at all. So minimum <laughs> instructions. Oh, oh I, I couldn't tell you which ways, but I reckon probably that way, maybe. Let's get this around the right way. And which holes does it go in? Doesn't tell you that either. But it looks like it goes in those holes there. This is going to be a nightmare if that's not round the right way. Although it looks to me it's it's wrong. The diagram's wrong because really it should be like that. But I don't think it really matters because it's only for the bits that do the uh, bits that go through there to hold the post up and down. So <clears throat> okay, doesn't even really tell you. Well, it sort of does. Oh, it's me blind. Keep going up. Right, let's see if we've got all the right bolts. So I should have two of the long ones. Yes. And we've got tools. That's not too bad, I guess. Um, 
Now, we've got two of these, but they're not even in there, so that's really, really rubbish. Uh, two of them. Two, four, six of them, that's right. Four of them, yep. Two of them, yep. And then it's just the clamps and everything. So <clears throat> let's have a look. Let's have a look. So we require the long ones. So go through all that way. There's no locking nuts here, which is. I would have thought you would have had some locking nuts and the other one in there as well come on come on so you've got those in there not even any washers but let's pop them in there like that and that one as well i tell you what i'm just going to move the microphone we might be able to hear a little bit that might be a little bit better now right so got those um where's my i think this it's not a proper screwdriver but i think it's better than what they've sort of given you there so i know that i would have got my decent screwdriver out well, that might be all right so yeah put them on there blah 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 let's use their little uh thing they have given us and see how it goes so what size nut there we go so let's do them up loosely oh let's hope it goes up a bit tighter than that because it's it's pretty yeah pretty janky there at the moment Probably get some proper tools on this to make sure although this they seem to I can't get a decent grip on them that's better not all wobbly now bit of a bloody task though and right that's that bit done so next step is this bit okay attaching to the board right okay so let me move that bit over there let's get this bit here that's all scratched to death absolute bastard <laughs> so which way round am i going to want that i suppose it spins around anyway whichever way i want it so um i'm going to sort of have it like that i guess so we need these lovely awful plastic things they could have at least been a bit metally couldn't they um doesn't really tell you which way around these go so we're going to fix them this way and what are we going to use we have a cat coming in hello mr marmal are you going to come on in buddy so we need screws Ooh. b B, that's the four, so it's these small ones. Right, and the janky screwdriver. Hello, mate. You all right? <laughs> Bit confused of what's going on. Oh, there you are. So these are screwing into some kind of sort of nylon fitting here and here. So let me just get it down so it's not completely tight because that's got movement on it and I'm not sure what that movement is for. And we want to make sure that we've got it all right and in the right place. These aren't very good. Oh, I'm not sure this is going to last very long because uh, of the amount of plastic that's involved here come on uh, uh, uh. right
Um, but they, I don't know if they are actually bang in the middle. So let's pull them down and. Oh, we've got another cat coming in. My little demon, Mia. You want my terror? Come and have a look. Hey, what am I doing? Hey? What oh, So this one's only a year old, she's gone. And this little monkey here, he is probably I reckon probably around seven, eight years old. This screwdriver is awful. There we go. There we go. That's much better. Not over tight because this is only um, nylon they're screwing into. Hopefully, they're not going out the other side. Hopefully, they have got their screw lengths. Bang on, I will check that in a minute, and I'm probably going to have to take my jumper off in a minute because it's rather warm in here. Let me take it off now. Whoa. Oh, really warm, that's better. Right, okay, so that's that bit done. Um, and then I've got to put the post in. Where did I put that? I bet you meant to put that in first. Yes, I think you are. That's a real pain in the ass. Oh. Right, why don't they bloody just tell you to, right, it's, they sort of do, but they sort of don't. Oh, that's a shame they don't release enough. Right, let me undo, I reckon, if we, ah, 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 don't start fighting you two. I reckon if we just take one. do the job because we can do that this goes in there not very well even though that's completely loosened off what is occurring here it's got a little plastic thing on the end which isn't secured brilliantly jeez that's not even. Oh, I shouldn't need that amount of bloody force to get that in there. Okay, so it's not completely loose. So that is made smaller than than this bit. I really don't think this is going to last very long at all. So we can do it like this, where I need to pull that back down there. Just do up with a little one for the. Let's make sure it's in the right place first. Yeah, these these are not not the best. Not the best, nowhere near the, uh, um, is it straight? Yes, I think it is. Let me get my decent screwdriver, well, not decent, but stronger screwdriver on there. Right, okay. Right, so that gives it its, its sort of move. I wonder if it actually does tighten down so it doesn't slip because that's the... okay so that little end bit just popped out for some really weird bizarre reason still moves oh that's no good at all is it it doesn't tighten up it's no good whatsoever because you've got a laptop on there and it keeps just creeping down that's going to be a big problem that because that's not tightening properly it's popping off because whatever is in there is not doing its job 
Oh, it's a nut, so it's bouncing off the nut. Okay, so I'm guessing that sort of threaded itself. Not good, not a good start at all. Pretty annoyed with that actually, because uh, it wasn't expensive, but it wasn't cheap. Um, so it gets you to do that, and then it gets you to do the rails after you've done that. Oh, these are not very nice <laughs> plastic rails. So that's all right, we can do it like this. Not a hard thing to do, sort of backwards. We can do this. I think we get the middle one in first. I must say, this is really not the best made thing like this I've seen. It's for the price, all this plastic. Especially that issue that I've got there, which might be a big issue. And I'm not on about the newspaper that you buy in the streets. Not that I've seen that around recently. Um, it's If it's going to keep tilting, it's going to tilt till your laptop falls off. And that's not great. But I'm sure hey, I can probably come up with a fix for that myself by using other parts. They are, I really don't like these plastic parts. Plastic's not the way to go. Oh, they're not even finished properly. That's not great. Right, we put the unfinished edge. Oh, it doesn't really matter where we put it. It's not a great thing. So let's get the centre one in. Ooh. Now I've got my audience back here. I'm having an issue with this side. Let's get there. roughly where he needs to go. Wow, this side's really fiddly. Right, we're almost done. We haven't put the uh, the wheels on yet. Um, I'm not sure if I put the wheels on, it's not going to go under my sofa. And my sofa does have a gap underneath it, but it's not brilliant. So I'm just going to go and check that in a second because I definitely think if I put the wheels on, it's not going to slide under the sofa. Oh, someone's battery's low, which then is going to be a problem. Oh. This is much wider than I. I have to check the size on this as well because it doesn't look 600 to me. It looks about 500. So that's as tight as I want to go with those. Let me just quickly check the base, make sure it slides under. Hello, my little terror. I don't think it's going to slide under with no wheels on either. <laughs> Um, hmm. it probably will, yeah, it will slide under with no wheels on, so like my other one, the wheels are going to stay off. So let's do the next bit. This doesn't really, I mean, the, the instructions don't really, it's unstable as well, it's not level. It's a damn shame that. Um, right, okay, so we've got to put that bit on this bit. So I think we definitely put, got to put these in first, which I'm not sure how that's going to work because there's no holes in there. It's just going to push the, there's plastic in there. It's all plastic. Why everything plastic? Right, let's get it on there. So that's as high as it can go. Okay, all right. 
that's probably about as high as I'm going to want it. As you can see, that seems to be tilting already. Um, if it stays there, it's not going to be an issue. If it stays there with my laptop on, it's not a massively heavy laptop. That will sort of work, I guess. Um, not totally impressed on it. The finish is not the best. As we can see, oh, that still spins around even though that's done up tight. That's not great. It's not going to drop down, but it'd be good if you could lock it off. Ah, I guess it is what it is, and I hate that saying. <laughs> um, here it is. Let me just get out of the way, get it round here. It looks okay. First looks at it, it looks fairly impressive. Um, I don't think it's anything special. The wheels aren't going to go on because they're not going to go under my sofa. Um, it doesn't look black like it does in the picture. It's got scrapes on it and this silly little bloody thing here where they've joined this here really badly. Um, there's not really much I can do about that. Maybe get a bit of pen and colour it in. Um, but that's terrible. That is really, really bad. Why were you going to see? I mean, even it would have been better to pop it here on one of the uh, smaller edges. Um, that's a bit... Yeah, it's, it's going to serve the purpose for what I want to do with it. It'd be better if this was all the way along here because I wanted to put a mouse mat on the side where my laptop was. But I'm not sure that's going to work. It's okay. It's not as good as I thought it was. Give me a second. Let me grab my tape measure. This is meant to be 600 by 400. It's, it's 600, even that, by 400. So, yeah, it's just over 400 and a, a smidgen over 600. So, there we go. There's my semi janky laptop table, which is scratched quite badly it's a bit bobbly um yeah not the best thing not the best thing this is how it come it's got a big scratch there 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 across there unfortunately it's yeah and it's got bubble in the uh the veneer it's not even a veneer it's a laminate anyway thanks for watching like and subscribe